I want to appeal to this honorable house to consider the allegations against me by the mover of the motion, weight against the attached evidence, weight against my defense and the attachments and the videos that I've played in this matter. And exercise your mind and exercise your discretion. Search your conscience and decide if regarding Ashagwa is guilty of any of those allegations or is undergoing a political process. If you are so persuaded and you search your conscience without any intimidation or coercion or inducement and you think it's the right thing to do, please go ahead and do so. If touch your conscience and listen to the issues that have been adduced here and you find that there are no grounds to impeach the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Please make the right decision. But as you do so, many members who are in this house remember both President William Ruto as Deputy most of us stood with him. Regarding Ashagua underwent four years of persecution. Others were persecuted. But we took a firm stand because we believed we were doing the right thing. His family went underwent humiliation, his friends underwent humiliation. He was a haunted man, and on Liberation Day, he pronounced himself that freedom is here. Again, under the new administration, the same regarding Ashagwa, who had went humiliation and persecution, finds himself in the same space under that administration that he fought for. Try, look, reflect and apply your conscience and make the right decision. Mr. Speaker of the House, I want to thank you for granting me this opportunity. And my address last night was not in any way meant to disrespect the House. Despite, Mr. Speaker, you having ruled that the matter should not be taken out of the House, it was being discussed in every TV station, in every meeting across Kenya. And Kenyans did not have a chance to also hear my side of the story. So I decided since the accusations against me were everywhere in the country, the people of Kenya, and more so those who voted for me and President William Ruto, deserved also to hear my side of the story. I have tremendous respect both for the National Assembly and your ability and capacity to make the right decision. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank you. Asante Nisala. Thank you very much, uh, David President.